And I think that the passport bro specifically gets a negative connotation. Number one, because it's they, the, the women that I watched, I probably just, you'll have to excuse me. I've watched maybe like two hours of content on this and it was all short form and it was all either bad bitch attitudes towards it. Like, Oh, you can go over there and take advantage of, you know, lesser, you know, third world country girls who don't speak English and blah, blah, blah. And I hear that, that side. And then you've got guys that are just tired of chick shit. And, (laughs) and, um, and especially in the United States, but the Western hemisphere for the most part is not that good. Um, overall but yeah i've seen i've seen it and i think that i think the culture has the right idea as far as like because all all these guys are trying to do is go look for solutions to their problems right they're just looking for some of them some of them are going overseas to go bang 100 chicks that you know they don't have to marry and even if they do they can bounce to another country which i've done that (laughs) <laughs> yeah i mean i yeah, mean we're all I'm guilty slowing down this year but yeah we, we we've been there yeah it's um yeah and then there's other guys that the the, the quality women on I'm, I'm referencing tiktok the quality women that i've seen make comment on this are referencing these guys who are actually going to look for women that are traditional and want families and kids and action an actual like 1950 style household um as passport kings so that's a different level of the same thing, but um, yeah, it's it's an interesting phenomenon that's not really actually a phenomenon. That's a good point. I, I was going to say we've we've touched on these topics before on our um, on our first stream of the the Lost Boys podcast, and in terms of a lot of people think that things that are going on today, it's a new ph- phenomenon. It's this thing that came out of nowhere. But guys have been going abroad forever not necessarily for better women i'm sure although i'm sure that plays into it but uh, you, you have a military background your family has a military background i have members of my family with a military background so for me I, I first went abroad when i was 18 that that wasn't a new thing it was more like okay well the u.s is fantastic has a lot of good stuff to offer but there's a whole other world out there and for me i simply couldn't sit around and just not be a part of the wor- the broader world at large that travel bug or that wonder lust that itch was one that i've always had and uh, and i think that a lot of guys have that that sense of adventure that sense of going out to foreign lands and conquering even you have you have biblical references to it you know people wandering the desert and i I think that that is a critical part of the healthy development of, of a man now that is whatever it looks like to you a lot of young guys maybe the college experience does that for them maybe uh the military experience does that for them but I've always recommended guys go abroad because not only do you gain a, a new perspective or a new way through which to look at the world, but you also gain a lot of insight. You, you figure out who you are when you head to a new culture, or a new place where they have these foreign sights, sounds, smells, and and all of the above. And you realize like, okay, well, I can't rely on my social networks. I can't rely on the things that I knew or doing things the way they are supposed to be done per a definition of a country that I'm no longer in. And you yeah, you either put up or, or shut up in that sense. Uh, a lot of new guys abroad, they leave pretty quickly. But for me, I enjoyed the process in terms of getting acculturated, learning the language, and then uh, opening new doors to see more interesting places and meet more interesting people. And I, I know you had a similar experience, if you want to uh, uh, remark on that. Yeah, I mean, I traveled a lot. I mean, prior to meeting you, I traveled a lot. I, I went to um, Southeast Asia. I went to Japan. Um I worked in the, well, I was in the military and then I worked in the private military contracting side of it as well for overseas. So, yeah, I mean, when I agreed to go over there, it was more of a, I kind of, it was, I kind of covered it, I think, in Bentley's, Bentley's talk last week where I just wanted to get away from my identity, like get away from what I was or what I thought I was at. Uh, a particular time in my life. And I mean, I was 18. I didn't know shit. Right. But I went over there and I I really, you start to, you start to, you really enjoy the basic for like the basic processes of life, like just getting around, figuring out what you, what you want to eat, figuring out how to communicate, uh, getting on the right train or bus or something like that. Like that's, that's an accomplishment when you're, when you're traveling like that. And that's stuff that we take, we take for granted. So I feel like I went over there to kind of 
figure myself out. I guess I didn't really do that to figure myself out. I think I just kind of like went through that process quite a bit when I was, when I was over in Japan specifically, but I spent the majority of it just in the moment. I mean, there was no, you can't be a, a, a lack of presence is rooted in being complacent. Like if you have to be in like, you're, you're kind of in a survival mode and that's just trying to figure yeah right. Like figure it out the, the ins and outs of your day. And, the, and that, that was kind of exciting. I mean, there was a, there was a kind of a low dop- dopaminergic reaction all day, every day, all the time, because you're constantly taking in new experiences and, and seeing new things and being open to new things because everything's new. You don't know what's coming next. And that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's the, probably for me, that's the most addictive portion of our part of what we're talking about here. Um, no, I didn't go over there for chicks. I didn't, I didn't give a shit about chicks. I, I was just looking for an adventure and some good food. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's kind of a misnomer, and I think that's why that some of these spaces get a bad rap, uh, especially the Passport Bros movement, because, again, a lot of people control the narrative that don't necessarily know what's going on with on the inside, like we have uh, Steph the Frenchman here. Hey, Steph, what's up? Man, it always cuts off dude? when I do this. Uh, so uh, he comments that most of North American women have been damaged by feminism. I think that that's probably like a standalone show in and of itself. That'd be an interesting topic to, to dive into. Yeah. I'd say I'd, I'd agree. I'd agree to a degree and then I disagree to another degree. Um, once you get to the point and I'll start doing more topics on this too, where uh, as a guy, you, you have a firm idea of who you are, how you show up in the world and what you're all about. Then really those things don't bug you anymore. Like I'm sure I've been out of plenty of girls that have been tainted by those sorts of is or ism, sure. as I all like to call them topics. But I've never yeah. had that. that. That just doesn't have an effect on my life anymore because I'm, I'm above that. I'm, I'm beyond that. But um, but I think there is a misnomer in terms of like, OK, well, this guy's a passport bro by virtue of just having a passport and moving abroad. There's definitely other reasons. I've done videos on my channel. Yeah. You guys want to look those up or I can pop one down below in the description, like 10 reasons to move to Mexico City. Like obviously dating and interpersonal relationships was one of the 10 reasons, but it wasn't the reason if I wanted to. No go somewhere so I can get laid like crazy. There's cheaper countries and there's countries where <laughs> right. being a, yeah. a North American, yeah. uh, more pale skinned male will get you a lot further for a lot less. The, the reason I, I chose Mexico, again, I covered in that video is because yeah. the, the, there's a lot of them. I, I like green spaces. I like having uh, pretty colors around me. I like food. I like the, obviously the geo arbitrage where you can save a little bit of money, although the, the peso versus the dollar, they're doing some interesting things now. So mm-hmm. well, we'll I have to re-examine that soon, but there's a myriad of other reasons why guys go abroad and it's not necessarily because, okay, well, all these, all these chicks are trash here in the U S I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I don't actually believe that per se, but no, they take the attitude I'm of, not. Oh, all these, all these chicks are utter trash. So I'm going to go abroad and just swim in a horde of pussy. And we, we always say on this channel and when I go on like Rich's channels or other guys' channels that if you can't get laid in the U.S. or if you can't figure out women in your host country, then that might be something you want to figure out first before you go abroad. It's not like a magic bullet. And what it will do, okay, yeah, there's the geo arbitrage aspect to it. So like if you're a five in the U.S., maybe you'll be a six or seven abroad, but – you still got to have yeah, game. You, you, you still have to know what you're doing. You know, and like you mentioned, figuring out how to pay your bills, how to get your groceries here, right. here, how to get your water delivered. These are all like mini milestones you have to overcome. So if, if you can't figure out how to get water to your house that you can drink safely without, you know, shitting out your intestines, then <laughs> what makes you think you're going to go yeah. there? And then all of a sudden be dating, be dating the top tier women and having this abundant, amorous lifestyle that 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 takes some time to get used to so so my first point is i I believe that there is a misconception that okay i have a passport i'm gonna go abroad and just slam a bunch of chicks out that's that's usually not the case for most guys 